Hey, I'm in horrible lighting because I'm in my car, but I just got inspired because um, I was thinking someone recently questioned my character and I was like, wow, I have to make a live stream on this because I think it's very easy to get caught up in it when someone questions our character, right? We start thinking, oh my gosh, like I can't believe they feel this way about me. Um, and let me know, have you guys ever had your character questioned? If you have, you could give me like a yes or some likes or love hearts, whatever it is you want to do. But if anyone's ever, okay, we've got some coming in. So yeah, when your character gets questioned, no doubt it doesn't feel good, but <laughs> you can either let it control you or you can take it as an opportunity to truly test your confidence and belief in yourself. The only thing you can truly do when your character is questioned is reconnect with who you know you are deeply. And when you know you are not the person that someone might be questioning you or saying that you are, then it is very easy to go... <laughs> That's hilarious because that's not how I am. That's not the way that I am. So when someone qu questions your character, the only thing you really can do is go, you know what? I know who I am. I know what I believe in. I know my actions. So everything that's saying that you're saying to me or thinking about me or saying about me is not true and I remember um, in like elementary, middle school and high school like people would do this and it, it really didn't phase me much because I remember always reconnecting going I know who I am and today someone questioned my character um, out of the blue very randomly on something that's actually completely it's almost crazy talk um hey Amity hey Masinde <laughs> um so it was crazy talk and it is crazy talk and it's almost um deceitful and a little bit um what's the word it's like uh, um I don't know I guess I'm not supposed to know because I'm not supposed to talk about it like it's like one of those things where, like there's no need to spend my energy on it but basically when someone does that the only thing that you can do and the thing that you should do is of course go you know what I know exactly who I am reconnect with who you are reconnect with what you know is true about yourself you define yourself and you know for a fact what the truth is you know the truth versus the fake you know the reality versus the made-up stories in others heads and remember that because no one else can define you you have the power to know everything that you need to know about yourself and remember that you are exactly who you need to be, exactly where you need to be, and the people in your life who need you will, of course, see you for who you are because you are meant to speak with, connect with, talk with, work with, be coached by, be mentored by, coach, mentor, etc., etc., uh, very specific and loving people in your life, and they know who you are, those who do not. <laughs> They don't deserve you. They don't deserve to know who you are. And uh, you will always have the upper hand because you know yourself better than anybody else. And no one can question you. No one can question who you are because you already know who you are and you make that decision. So, hey, Robbie, I'm about to come inside. <laughs> I got inspired. Anyway, I hope this was helpful for you guys. Let me know if this has ever happened to you and what you do to address it. Because for me, it's very easy to brush it off. Of course, I'm annoyed that it happens. Then I go like, no need to spend my energy on it. But it is something that I think we should talk about because it's easy to get caught up in it, like I said. So anyways, I hope you have an amazing day, night, or morning, wherever you are in the world. Just make it awesome.